Welcome back to Let's Talk About That. Today we have Bridget and Mike here with us. How are you guys doing? Good. Good, good. So tell us a little bit about yourselves. What do you guys do? Uh, <laughs> um, Mike, well, go. <laughs> I, I work with my father in a remodeling company during the day, and then at 4 o'clock I go to our plant shop Okay. in downtown Elkhart. And what's your plant shop called? Green Space, the, All right. the plant place. <laughs> so is that like all together, green space, plant, the plant? Place? Yeah, we kind of <laughs> added it later. We yeah. started okay. off as just green space, and then we realized that we were like, mm. I kind of like really, that. Oh, we do too. Uh-huh. But then it doesn't really tell. No, like you all what, of it together. Oh, yeah, I kind of yeah. like that. Because yeah. sometimes when you're talking to people, you're just like, oh, you know, like that plant place. Mm-hmm. And yeah. It's literally the yep, plant yep, place. It's in the name. And, <laughs> yep. You know, we've seen lots of places where the name of the business doesn't really explain what you're doing. Right, so, right, yeah. right. So what do you do? I run it. Okay. I'm managing it. Managing it. I order all the plants. Uh so are yes. you the owner or? We, we're, I'm technically the owner, yes. but we co-own it. I mean, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. So what has been like a, the biggest challenge owning your business or starting your business? That that's a good yeah, that's that, a that is question. A good question um, you know, you, it wasn't, there are challenges, but it wasn't a challenge starting okay. it. It just kind of. It morphed into it. Smoothed yeah. right into okay. it. It was. It's, it's, so have there been any kind of challenges Starting things. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, switching up our whole lifestyle. Yeah. 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 You know. What did you originally start off doing? Well, <laughs> the whole shop is because of COVID. Mm-hmm. The whole plant thing, all of it. Mm-hmm. Um, I was managing my sister's flower shop, which okay. was inside Memorial Hospital. Oh. So uh, when COVID happened, mm-hmm. and if you weren't a beacon. A Beacon employee, Mm -hmm. they had to shut you down, like Starbucks and all the restaurants and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Had to go for the two or three weeks. Right. Back in the day when they were three three weeks. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) So I was like, you know, my sister, who, and she's the owner of Blossom Floral Design, she can, uh, she could uh, just go ahead and do her business out of her home studio, but Mm -hmm. I didn't have anything to manage at that point. So I was like, oh, we'll just, I'll take the plants home. And take care of them, and we had one plant in our yep. house at this point. Yep. Mm-hmm. So it was a money tree. Yep. <laughs> Try to keep yep. that thing alive. Yep. <laughs> but, but yeah, we uh, we took the plants home, and mm-hmm. and he was able to keep doing because his job was considered um, necessary, yeah, or mm-hmm. essential, whatever. Essential, yeah. right? Yeah. So, uh, it was... but we took the plants home and. Mm-hmm. Started taking care of him, and he started having fun. Yeah. And we started just going out to stores and collecting plants mm-hmm. that we thought were neat and unusual. And, yep. you know, by that summer, the first summer of COVID, our daughter was uh, vending at the Elkhart Farmer's Market. Okay. And she called us one day. She's like, hey, bring down some of your plants. There's a ton of people <laughs> down here. Just bring some plants and throw them on our table. So yeah. we did that. And uh, she called us about an hour later, two hours later. She said... All your plants are gone, and oh my got a couple hundred dollars for you. And I was like, like "What?" what? <laughs> <laughs> so next, the next weekend, we went and bought a canopy and to start set up it. our own little booth right next to her, selling oh, our that's plants awesome. from and home. It, and it was it it kept getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. Well, it was crazy how like with COVID and everything, everybody mm-hmm. was freaked out. But also, in a way, I feel like it was kind of good for people because mm-hmm. it brought people together. Mm-hmm. You know, everybody was outside more. Families yeah. were together. Yeah. And, and that's all you could do. Yeah. The Farmer's Market was yeah. the only place. You yeah. Could yeah. Call exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Definitely something so interesting. So what a have. great way to, like, start things off yeah. for you guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we so, had no idea. Right. I mean, yeah. it was... If you would have told us three years ago that we would have <laughs> a plant this. store, we, I would be like... You're crazy. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Well, that's awesome. No. <laughs> so from there, what did you guys do? Like, did you just... Keep going with things and mm-hmm. find a place. And well, we started looking for like a brick and mortar, you know, uh-huh. storefront it's anywhere. In, yeah, you know, within a driving distance. Right. Um, but this just for it just as ideas too. Yeah. We were we were still at that point just doing farmers markets in the mm-hmm. summer. We did two. We did half of the summer the first mm-hmm. year, and then the second summer two thousand and one. 
Oh, I'm so confused. 2001. <laughs> it's okay. COVID time. Yeah. Blur. Yeah. I, for real, yeah, too. I yeah. can't even think of dates and years. I think it started like 2020. <laughs> yes. Because I was still in college yeah. at the yep. time. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. And everybody was like, oh, yeah, cool. We get an extra week of spring break, right. you yep. know? And <laughs> yep. <laughs> nope. 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 Yeah. They, um, but we did, we did one full summer of, of uh, farmer's market. But anyway, we would sit there. And watch all the buildings coming up and all of the progress yeah. happening downtown. Mm-hmm. And we we watched Martins be built from mm-hmm. our booth mm-hmm. and every Saturday. And we started going, oh, yeah, these people want plants. Yep, they're gonna they're, they're gonna want they're plants. They're gonna want plants. And we started asking some of the customers that would come down, "Where are you from?" And they're from mm-hmm. Chicago. Yep. You know, they were moving all here. Yeah. Oh wow! And We're quite sure why, but yeah, yeah, still, <laughs> right? Care, but, but yeah, all of this. So out of the blue, we happen to be driving past the green block that's on Lexington, mm-hmm. um, where the Electric Brew is, and mm-hmm. Thompson Art Gallery, our art, mm-hmm. art framing shop, our old and, stomping um, ground, mm-hmm. kind of. <laughs> right? And saw uh, paper up on the windows of what used to be Ditto. Okay. And they'd been there for 40 years. Mm-hmm. 40 oh, wow. years. That's crazy. And we just thought it was the the craziest coincidence that yep. at the moment that we're looking for a place yep. that that's open. So, wow. Yep. We, we jumped on it. Yep. It's perfect. Yep. That was scary. And we really did just... They had no, no, no upfront money. We just had what was in our pocket. Wow. And the plants we had. What we said, good timing. Go for it. Yeah. And we really did just... we. <laughs> Brought all the plants from our shop or from our house, and mm-hmm. he built some display tables and yeah. all okay. kinds of stuff. And we just opened the doors as sparse as it was. I yeah. look right. back on pictures now, and I'm just like, Whoa. yeah, we didn't even do a grand <laughs> opening or nothing. Mm-hmm. Just started selling just the plants. Go yeah. for it. Yeah. Okay. And all the money. We just bought more plants yep. every week. Yep. So was plants, it a little like? At first, were you guys like, "What do we even do?" Or were you kind of familiar with it by at that point? Yeah. Yeah. Especially since you worked in a flower shop beforehand. And we, right. and we did the farmer's market, so it kind of gave us a little... Right. Mm-hmm. Right. You okay. Know. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. That but was... Working with people, I right. never thought, man. Yeah. That know. was his first time, watching <laughs> yeah. him, you know, kind of be in retail and... Mm-hmm. Actually talking to people. Talking to customers and stuff. It, that's it can be normal. intimidating. Yeah. It is intimidating. You know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, we it, still are learning. He did good. The whole thing. Right. But we're, we're telling our pe- people our mistakes that we've made. Here's what you don't want to do. Right. Here's what we learned. Mm-hmm. So, what did you guys learn? We're still, again, like you said, we're still learning. Yeah, <laughs> I, uh, and we're all still learning. You know, the ty- so types of water, um, window water, what types of light it needs, what you know, all mm-hmm. that stuff. Yeah. The usual, but yeah. the, it's a little more detailed than than just watering it. You know? And we discovered yeah. on our own that you don't use city water to water plants. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> some, kill it, if some plants can survive a yeah. while, yeah. You know, uh-huh. the hardy ones, but eventually it'll... Eh, right, away. right. So what's the difference between some plants? I know some you have to like just spray it every now and then, some you just water it. Yeah. Like, yep. yeah. It just d- depends. It, it's yeah. an interesting thing. There's some yeah. plants that, that have um, rhizomes under the soil, mm-hmm. which are like... Potatoes, yeah. okay, of, and those are their water stores. It's like so a, you don't yeah. want to water that plant all the time because it needs to go ahead and use up the water in those stores yep. first. Okay. So some of those plants you'll go a month before yep. watering them. I didn't know so that. Yeah, some, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we didn't either. Well, that's, <laughs> that's usually the case. People overwater. You know, yeah, because they think, oh, it's dying. I need to put more water in it. Right, and right. Go, yeah. So what's the like? How do you take care of like succulents, like that, that kind of stuff? I feel like whenever I try to do that, it just does not work out. <laughs> well, what I try to do is I always tell people buying succulents for the first time, and if they don't know, I'm like, okay, imagine the desert. These are from the desert. Mm-hmm. So the desert is dry. These plants are built for drought. They okay. don't want to be mm-hmm. watered all the time. I always tell people when they first buy a succulent to feel feel the, the petals, mm-hmm. and they're always usually nice and plump and tight as soon as they start feeling like old grapes. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. That's when you water it, no matter how dry the dirt is. And they need lots okay. of light. Lots of light. Yeah, because otherwise they start growing real leggy. Mm-hmm. Sometimes that looks cool, but okay. yeah. most most of them want yeah. a lot of light. They want to be okay. closer to lights. Yeah. I like that. That's a good way mm-hmm. of explaining yeah. how to do it. Because <laughs> yeah. sometimes they come with like the little things like, oh, water every oh, three weeks yeah. or mm-hmm. something like that. Because, it, you know, it, where your plant is in yeah. your house makes a difference. Mm-hmm. If, 
house is humid. Yep. If it's super dry, cold. You got to factor in everything, okay. and you have to factor in where you are in the states. If you're in lower, lower states, mm-hmm. um, that's going to make a big it's, difference. It's, okay. I mean, it's there's yeah. a big difference between New Mexico and yeah. right. Indiana, yeah. as right. how much sun you're getting and humidity yeah. mm-hmm. and yeah. how dry or moist it is. Yep. In right. The air how and, much light during the day is it getting? Yep. You know, the time wise. Yeah. Okay. It's like, kind of like taking care of a pet. Sort of low that makes maintenance, sense. super yeah. low yeah. maintenance pet. <laughs> super low maintenance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. Some plants could yeah. be pretty high yes. maintenance. That's true. <laughs> yeah, we call, we call those dramatic. Yes. Plants. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, is it true when you like have a plant, if you like talk to it, really like take care of it or whatever, does that actually affect? Oh, it affects you. I mean, it's psychologically probably. Yeah. Yeah, I, but I, I mean. I don't know. We're, we always have music playing in the shop, <laughs> yeah. and you give off the energy, I guess. If yeah. You give it okay. off negative energy. It's probably okay. Being I mean, it is it. like a living organism, yep. so I mean that would make sense. Well, they have yeah. these little these little things now that you clip them onto your plant, and it plays the some music sort of music. Music. Really? plant. I don't yeah. know how true that is, yeah. but you yeah. know, yeah. it could huh. be energy waves or yeah. something. Okay. That, that, that's very sound. interesting. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so what are you guys, some of your favorite plants that you guys have? <sighs> oh, man, there's so many. <laughs> it changes. Uh, it changes week to week for me. Yeah. <laughs> By far, the flagship would be the Brazil. Yeah. The Brazil? Yeah. yeah. Brazil what is that? Like, what does it look like? Um, most people have seen them. They're, they're a trailing philodendron and they okay. have green and then big Splashes of yellow on them. Okay, they get yeah, it's like the heart leaf. Filled it's a heart leaf. Too. Yeah, that's gotcha. some people call it mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Okay, okay. But they're beautiful. Yeah, I mean, yeah. They're, they have different colors. Yeah. Do you guys have same. like unique plants there at all, or like stuff yeah, that you we, wouldn't really find? I think so. Yeah, like right yeah. now we've got this uh, succulent called a whale fin. Cute. It, no, no, not whale fin. Uh, mermaids. Mermaid's tail. tail. Oh, okay, yeah, it's yeah. It's, it really looks like a mermaid's tail coming up out of the water. That's so cool. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. That that yeah cool. I should have brought. We should have brought that. Yeah, <laughs> well, I didn't know. That's the stuff we look for. Unique, you know, uh-huh. not so you know super rare. Right. We do have some semi rare, but then right. at some point it's not rare anymore. Right. Yeah. Got yeah. People love propagating. Yep. Mm-hmm. So we or also- collecting. We have a lot of collectors come in looking for stuff. They start off with the the basics, and they're like, mm-hmm. "Okay, now I'm looking for this." And I have a friend; she's big into plants. She has her own little greenhouse and mm-hmm. stuff. During the winter time, she'll like get everything started in her room, and her room is just full of plants. She'll mm-hmm. have like the lights and mm-hmm. the water and all that yep. stuff. Like she does a lot of research on how to take care of things. Oh yeah, yeah. And I think her and I have come into the shop before together and yeah. she yeah. looks around, she goes, oh my gosh, I can't be here. Like I'm just going to oh, yeah. buy it all. That's what everybody says. So, I want to live here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. We do live here. Sort of. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, we also, we have uh, carnivorous plants. Mm-hmm. That's a new thing for us in the past about year and a half. Yep. Okay. Um, well, actually a guy that uh, stopped at the farmer's market when we were down there was a carnivorous specialist, I guess you'd call him. He's been mm-hmm. in for how many years? 40 years? 40 yeah. plus? Yeah. Yeah. And, okay. you know, kind of from he, when he was little, he was just, all he did was carnivorous plants. Yeah. And oh, he asked wow. if we had any more, and we're like, not really. <laughs> but all of a sudden, we, you know, started networking, and now he comes in and does little seminars or talks to people. Oh, about that's her. cool. It yeah. brings the kids in. Yes. It bring, it's just, it's fun. Carnivorous plants are fun. And there are ones <laughs> I never even knew about. Yeah. Now I'm, a little he local. comes in yeah. often then, oh, yeah. like talk oh, yeah. to people. Yeah. Is there anything else that you guys do? Um, we reap uh, as in 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 the store. Yeah, yeah. We do reap or out and about. Or oh, yeah, we, yeah. We, we, could... we do a several different things. We inside the store, people can bring their plants in and repot them. Mm-hmm. We, oh, okay, they can have us do it, or they can come back with yep. us. We make our own soil. Yep, that's you know, awesome. So people can you know come in and yep. Okay. Refill their stuff and learn how to do it because usually people are scared. Yeah. Well, scared they're going to hurt their yeah, plants. Yeah, that's it. And yeah. And uh, it's we do uh, classes on how to make terrariums like these little guys. Mm-hmm. That's cool. I mean, that, <laughs> it's fun. It's playing it. Yeah, I've noticed that you guys have some unique stuff like handmade stuff there. Yes. Yeah. So it, did you make this then? Yes. Or yeah. That's so cool. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's a salt shaker. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it was uh, cool. we ran out of salt and... 
it was empty, and <laughs> my daughter was sitting at the kitchen table with us, and they were up for having breakfast or something. And I was like, you know, I should put a, I should put the terrarium in that. Uh huh. And then now it's this thing. It That's and what I've noticed I do you guys have the wine glass. Yep, that too. too. Anything yep. that kind of looks like it could hold that. Right, and that took some while. Oh, yeah, a bit of time trying to figure out kind of dial it in how to not kill those. Yeah, right. And it helps that it has like the holes in the top and yep. stuff mm-hmm. to let the air That's in. That's exactly it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And again, That's pretty creative. Using distilled or distilled or rainwater. Or rainwater. Or mm-hmm. Something that doesn't have. It's all about the, the water. In it. Yeah. It really is. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. And you guys have um, like rock pictures. Yes. Yeah. 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 So all I'm going to say what ninety five percent of everything in the store as all the art, all the macrame, it's all local artists. Mm-hmm. Oh, perfect! All local. That's awesome. Yeah. The lady that makes the 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 rock art, mm-hmm. she will she actually goes up to uh, Lake Michigan, collects rocks, mm-hmm. and and then makes those. We've got. Uh, what I'm still else? trying to get the potter in there. We <laughs> yeah. The, yeah. occasionally they'll come yeah. in, but you know. Yep. Yeah, okay. For make to make some some specific the same for anybody. our shop uh-huh. <laughs> pots for green space. Yeah. So maybe I'll get into that too. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we'll start making making pottery. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so tell me a little bit more about the local artists that are a part of your. Oh yes. Okay. So we have uh, three different uh, jewelry makers. We've mm-hmm. got our daughter Shay Wicker, and her business is called Delicate Elements. Okay. Mm-hmm. And she makes wire sterling silver wire wrapped okay. rings and necklaces mm-hmm. and earrings. They're and very pretty. Really... I remember seeing yeah. those there. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And then we have uh, a girl named Ocean, and her company is called Luna Lemon, and she mm-hmm. does pressed flowers, okay, dried pressed flowers. She does it all herself. They're really, really cool. Mm-hmm. She does <laughs> just really amazing work. And just this week, we have um, dogwood designs by Danny, and okay. she came in, and she's a s- s- sterling silver mm-hmm. jewelry maker, and she came in and she grabbed some string of hearts and she grabbed some Hoya flowers and she took them home and made molds mm-hmm. out of them. So right now we've got uh, the oh, actual string of hearts yeah. too. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So now we've got these beautiful earrings and I've got all kinds of, of necklaces, her necklaces and, and some really cool rings, mm-hmm. spinner rings and <laughs> stacking rings, just all. Okay. Kind of kinda like fidget rings. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yep. yep. And a artwork. Lot of those. We got your dad's artwork yep, on the wall. Yep, mm-hmm. my dad does all the art. Mm-hmm. Okay, that that happens to those aren't those aren't for sale. Right, <laughs> will be some for sale someday. Yeah. Someday, but yeah. Uh, yeah, all the ones in the shop are just kind of my home. Okay, our home collection, mm-hmm. and uh, just because we're not at home as much, we just right. put the art down. Right, right. Yeah. What about the? I know I noticed lamps there. Oh, mm. Those yeah. were really cool. Yes. Yeah. So the lamps are made by his name's Carrie Osborne, yep. and he is or was one of the owners of the Green Block. Okay. And mm. he has in the last um, space that used to be Augustino's Pizza mm-hmm. Place. That's where he displays all of his lights, and the globes are made from uranium, uranium glass. Uranium glass. Oranium. Oh wow. So- yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. And he tr- he'll travel to go mm-hmm. to go get those. Okay. And he builds them, and it's kind of a steampunk. Yeah. <laughs> so wall. he gets all the supplies, and oh, he yeah. builds mm-hmm. it himself. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yep. I love that. Yep. yep. They're really neat. And then we like put stuff together ourselves. We have yeah, a stained like glass it. one up in the front window. Oh. That. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a crazy. The lamp itself is a. You have a kind of just a, hodgepodge. It's yeah. a, a boat. <laughs> a boat. A canoe. <laughs> With, with a stained an, glass. Yeah, with a pineapple on yeah. it. And then we put a stained That's glass cool. uh, yeah. shade on it. Is it hard to create that, like no. to put stained glass together or anything? Oh, we, no, we've never made stained glass. Oh, okay, no. okay. We've never made the stained <laughs> no, glass. That, but, uh, yeah. Yep, you only get so much time in a day. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> we would try it if we could, though. Yeah. So what's your guys' mission? Like, what's your guys' goal for the plant place? That's a tough question. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, um, I, just to make, or your motto, making memories. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, the we feel like, and we get told by our customers that coming in there's an experience mm-hmm. too. We're we're all about the good smells, mm-hmm. good music, nice atmosphere. atmosphere. Yeah, 
just come in, feel mm-hmm. like you want to hang out for a while, yeah. talk yeah. to us. Just making memories. Yeah. Making memories. There, Small talk. There was a store when we were yeah. young. Yeah. I'm sure most <laughs> Gen Xers yeah. of Elkhart and the we're surrounding areas will remember G- yeah, <laughs> GL Perry's. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, Anytime you say GL Perry's to someone, they start remembering, oh, and they'll man. go, "Oh, <laughs> it was because it was magical." Yep, okay. it was a magical store. Parents, they'd go shopping upstairs, and yeah. the we'd kids be down in a toy aisle, go, go oh. down in the basement where there was toys and, and that's where you hamsters get your, yeah. and birds and just oh, all the yeah. uh, what the jumping beans. Remember oh, the jumping yeah. beans? Yeah, the jumping beans. Uh huh. Yeah. Called back in the day, I don't. They were called Mexican jumping beans. Okay. And they're little beans with worms in them. With a little worm inside and they move. of them, and it's they crazy. all jump. In the, <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool. Everybody yeah. will know what I'm talking about. Yeah. This before, yeah, box stores came yeah. in. Yeah. And silly putty and slinkies, but it was just it was that, just a little magical thing for us to do and. We kind of want that. That's that's kind of what we uh, want to portray as. That okay. So when memories, when yeah. parents bring their kids into the shop, mm-hmm. we have all this stuff for them to look at. Mm-hmm. All the little tiny terrariums, and they can imagine, you know, right, bringing like, yeah. themselves down little and fantasy walking world. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. The, and the carnivorous plants Coca-Dama's. are always a hit. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yep. That's awesome. And I know you guys have like sage and like that kind of mm-hmm. stuff there yep. too. Yep. Is that from you guys or from one of your local artists? That, that a, that's one of the things that's not local. However, we do get them. They're like ethically sourced. Okay. And that kind of that's stuff cool. to where. Well, a lot yep. of people that are moving into new homes or apartments. Right. Right. Yeah. Clear the air a little yep. bit. Yeah. Yep. yep. Don't yep. blame you. Get a plant. Yeah. Get a stage. Yep. You know. There you go. <laughs> hand in hand. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so. Yes. I'm curious, how did you guys meet? Like, what's your guys' story? Oh, that's funny. That is. Okay, so oh. back in the day, uh, cruising. I don't know uh-huh. if you ever heard about cruising in your car. Yeah, downtown. yeah. That's basically how it happened. Okay. Right, or actually, um, right on Main Street. On Main Street. Where McDonald's <laughs> is, uh-huh. that's where we met. Mm-hmm. So you and that's where my here, parents like, met, too. Have you guys been here your whole lives then? Pretty much, or? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. She actually lived upstairs. In the I lived, uh, yeah, I lived above <laughs> the the green space. Yep. Oh my goodness! That used to be Back my apartment up there, and he lived above Betza. Yep. Wow. On the top and floor there. Yep. Yeah. And it was but in a band. The, I mean, and, yeah. Just, it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> it was a span of a lot of years. So what? Be twenty nine years. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. So that's how we met. But I've known him <laughs> since he was. 17, yeah. 18. That's crazy. Yeah. Even more of a weird co- coincidence that you happen to live above yeah. the store I, Yeah, at the time that's what every... It's, it's, it's connections crazy there, thing. yeah. And I used to work at Augustino's. Yep. Okay. And That was a great place. Man. Yep. Good pizza. That's crazy. Yep. yep. Right. It all just kind of and there we went are, together. Here we are. Yeah. All grown-ups now, not the... Right. You know... Lived above the store. 20s. Yep. Worked for a plant place, COVID. Yep. yep. Then going to the market yep. and selling stuff there. Yep. It's like... like all, it's circle. circled all the way yep. back exactly. around. It That's really does. crazy. Yep. Wow. It is a it is a fun story. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's still developing. I mean, we're still evolving into something. We don't, we're yeah. not sure. You know, this time next year could be completely different. Right. Right. You know, no expectations. <laughs> I mean, we're hoping someday, like our daughter maybe wants to come Take in over. and yeah. join us, and then. When we're too have old, it. we You're can't right. move anymore. <laughs> you can totally have it. I need you to water the plants. <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> yep. We're, we're going to be on a way at a trip. Can you come water the plants? No, yeah. exactly. We, we do have to do that. Yeah. We're mm-hmm. actually trying to plan something now to where we can get yeah, away. Yeah. And <laughs> Four days is a long time to be away from them. Right, we yeah. We didn't realize that. It's like, man, we have that a was cat. Like you, you said, it's like it's like having a yep. pet. Yeah. Yep. Like, <laughs> got to feed them. Got to feed them. Then you gotta trust the people that yeah. are gonna come in. And, right? Did you lock the door? Yeah. Did you lock, <laughs> the door? Yeah. lock the door. Lock the door. Water. Yeah. So, one last question, or one of the last questions: What kind of advice would you give to people who are thinking about starting their own business? Not to sound cliche, but do what you love, and you you never have to work. Yeah. I mean, that's it's true, but you still have to work. I mean, yeah, right? I still yeah. have to do I mean, it. There's, but. Just do what you like. Yep. You know? Just go for and it. Go for it. Yeah. Forward, just keep pushing forward. Yeah. It's, like it, it's scary. Even if you but, fail. I mean, right. Try to keep trying it. Till I mean, that's how happens. you learn. Yeah, oh yeah. You know, make mistakes. You learn from them and you keep yeah. growing. Keep, keep going. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. 
There's yeah. a lot of naysayers. It gets, gets that, scary. Yeah. It gets scary. Yeah. You have some sleepless nights wondering if yep. you did the right thing and mm-hmm. you know, made the right choices. And but, but I mean, like, look at you guys. You know, you first started off just, like I said, selling at the market mm-hmm. and then finding your own place, just starting off with a few tables and yeah. plants. Yeah. And yeah, it just kept organically yeah. moving forward. Yeah. And Interesting how it... We right. just kind of let it, let it... Grow. Do its thing. Yeah. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> yeah. So how can people find you guys? Like, do you guys have any social media? Is like, What's your address? Mm-hmm. Just it's, the basic social media. Yeah, Instagram, Instagram and Facebook. And Facebook. Yeah. Um, just the green space, the green, yeah, the green plant place? Yep, yeah. green space, the plant place. Okay. We're on Google. Yep. Um, all you have to do is type in plants near me and okay. we pop up. And a lot of times people are like, oh, how long have you guys been here? Yeah. <laughs> you know, for a while. Yep, yep. And people will say... And it, it, well, we didn't know we, we yeah. didn't know you were here, and we're right. like, now you, well, you, you discovered us. <laughs> yeah, now you're here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you discovered. But that's us kind of fun for us too, own. because we when we discover places like, man, mm-hmm. I'm glad I went there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do that it's too. It's a better, harder experience. <laughs> yeah. We haven't paid for any kind of advertising or anything yet. Yeah, you know, okay. we're waiting. If if we have to do that at some point, we will. But right. at this point, we're just we're just having fun, meeting well, people, yeah. connecting yeah. with yep. people, and they come in and they're like. <laughs> yeah. Even better that it's right next to a coffee shop, so people come that out. That does work. It's yeah, I, just, I still can't yeah. believe that. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe that because they'll come in with their coffee and they'll just look around. Meander around and, look yep, and, yep. And and you'll see other plant stores are plants and coffee, mm-hmm. yeah, or plants and art. I've even seen oh yeah plants and and a bar. Mm-hmm. That might be dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> and people pouring their drinks in. Yeah. <laughs> what happened in here? Yeah. yeah. And do you guys have a website at all? We do. Um, it's not really finished at the moment. Okay. It's, it's, it's on, like if you go, if you type us in on Google, okay. you can click on our website. Okay. And you guys are right next to the Electric Brew downtown mm-hmm. Elkhart. Yep. Yep. Perfect. Yeah. It's. You know, you could post all that stuff, like what we have and all, but right. you need people to actually come in. Right. To yeah. It. Yeah. That's better. You know. I mean, it's about memories. Yeah, it is about connecting with people. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming today. It was great meeting you guys and talking and hearing about your story. Thank Thanks you for having us. Yeah, of course. Time. Come <laughs> right. on down. We'll see you guys next time.